Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are over here once again on Drago's account. So thank you very much for Drago for this opportunity and what are we doing here? We are doing nothing more but building a bug team. And as you can see, none of those are overlords and you guys know why. It's because everything is going to be overlord today. If we go over here to the sticker backpack, we have overlord buzzwall stickers, we have overlord genesect stickers, and we have overlord feromosa stickers as well. So Drago actually wrote me every single detail that we can do on this video. We have all the three Pokemons already to overlords. He has resources to unlock third ability and dream ability on Feromosa also has a full set of uh, wish stars that we can use if we go over here on sword we could change this to bug stars but technically over here strike there's a 20% chance of increasing your own hit by 30% I don't think we are going to use star plates on this video, no. Sadly, the skill breakthrough for Furamosa is not optimal, but I will also be talking about that. And at the end of the video, I will be also showcasing this bug team on action on EXVs and other places. So without further ado, let's start with the first step, which is to make all of those Pokemon Overlord, but they are all locked, so I need to unlock them. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go and we start by Feromosa. By the way, the good thing about the bug team is that it's actually a cheap team to build. The only bad thing about the bug team is Feromosa, okay? If you are like a new player, Feromosa will take quite a while to obtain. So that's why I usually recommend to always start on a new server because the older servers now, people have too much power. People have been one-shotting like every single world boss and it's not it's not uh, the very best experience right it removed the exclusive carried item dude like let me play the game <laughs> okay we have to remove the held item from genesect let's go back over there and now overlord genesect as you could see for example fermos and buzzwell is 2000 diamonds i mean it's 800 diamonds i mean and 200 stickers and about genesect genesect is a weather buffer just like tapu fini tapu coco they usually follow always the same rule being 300 overlord stickers and 2000 diamonds to overlord the good thing is as i was saying earlier it's a cheap team to build because usually to get the, those overlord stickers you get them on the happy exchange in exchange for uni shards i cannot showcase it today because today Today we have resonance st stickers going on and if you are just waiting and building a resonance just take advantage of this uni shard i know it's 500 uni shards is a lot for uh, some people but technically while we don't have events of free firebooks like firebooks on the happy exchange why not taking advantage every time you see like a resonance that you'd like for example i know a lot of people enjoy dialga for example dialga is actually a quite decent resonance uh, while you are waiting just get those extra resonance stickers because well they will come in handy later when uh, you actually have firebooks anyways back to the overlord upgrade we are finally going to do buzzwall so we already spent around 3.6k diamonds and all of this uh, overlord thingy and let's go we have the buzzwall over here ready to go we go back to our team now what do we do as we said a while ago we will be unlocking the third ability dream abilities and secret technique whatever over here on our feromosa as you can see secret technique boom unlocked i'm not going to power up the secret technique let me just read what the other ones provide so if we reach level 10 when releasing a Z-Skill, we get the extra skill power, okay. Pokemon of the same type releases a Z-Skill, increases skill damage. It's actually perfect for the team that we are playing on. Okay, we get more skill damage for playing in a bug team. And then, when releasing Z-Skill for the first time, the Z-Skill damage is increased by 30% and 10% skill power increase after that. Okay, 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 good stuff, good stuff. But as you can see, it's not like super important to get that extra damage for showcasing in this video so with that purpose we are going to unlock the third ability let's go over here oh wait no i still have to tap and unlock over here uh those items are farmed on the crosser team so it's all good and to unlock the dream ability we need a purple third ability so that's what we are going for now 
I'm going to use these uh, over here first because like we have 1.2k and this ones actually have a chance of dropping a purple. Now, related to what Drago said, he told me that broken armor is the third ability that he prefers and I could agree, yes of course, because technically what broken armor does, and we can just read over here, when you receive attacks, you get less defense, but you get speed increased. And honestly, Bug Lady, oh, <laughs> I was struggling to remember the name right now. Oh, Poggies, let's go. Uh, <laughs> we got it, actually, without spending the... Um, the expensive uh, cards. Okay, 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 okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, but basically, what I was about to say is that Feromosa, Bug Lady, the thing that she is good about is on killing stuff. But she's a glass cannon. You don't expect Feromosa to actually survive that much, even though you can play her with heavy armor, so to increase her durability. But then we have over here broken armor, in case the enemy moves first and attacks you, this speed increase that you get after the enemy attacks you can actually help you on interrupting the enemy's attack and basically you just move right after the enemy's attack and that's very cool, very cool. Let's go over here, dream ability, let me check how much do we have. We have 97 cards, let's go, this guy actually farms stuff. Okay, if you guys have anything to learn with a low VIP, a grinder, this is the good stuff. Like he has 4.6k 4 ability EXP cards and he has 97 of the other golden ones. This is freaking awesome. Good job, good job, Drago. Now, as you could see, I upgraded the trim ability to level 10 first. It's whatever, honestly, because a lot of people might think it's like, oh, but don't you need to get the right ability first and then level, level it up? No, you don't really need to do that. I can just come over here and reset and well, uh, by I'm unlucky and I got uh, the same one, but like this one, for example, I click on confirm and as you can see, it's still level 10. So what we are going to aim for is attractive dance, which is the one that Feromosa likes the most. So wish me luck and off we go. Okay, that was actually pretty damn quick. Let's go. At the beginning of each round, there's a 20% chance of increasing crit rate by 20%. Can move again. This is the, the best art, can move again. This effect cannot be stacked and can trigger once every four rounds. The thing that uh, moving again with Fermosa is her specialty. And this is where I can talk about the skill breakthrough. Sadly, he does not have enough resources. Let me see what is on the diamond burning today. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie. Well, maybe it was yesterday that we had diamond burning for the other discs. And my bad that I should have recorded this video yesterday. Oh, oh well, oh well. I apologize, Drago, for that. But the, hey, uh, our goal would be to break through and get the passive. It's the most important. Because after that, the other ones are easy. Like, the other ones are easier to get. This is the passive, and it's actually this buff, Quiver Dance, which is actually very damn nice. But I would say this one is a luxury, because it's also very hard to get. Passive is the most important. Because on the passive, if you kill an enemy, you have 50% chance of moving again. And that's really, really freaking important for Feromosa itself. So, since we don't have that, how many chances do we have? If the enemy die in the first three rounds, of <laughs> we don't move again. We only have move agains on our dream ability, which can be good enough. Okay, let's go back to the wish star and let's just go over here. We equip Feromosa and now this is on swords wish plate. I'm going to place the other two teammates over here as well. And for example, I'll put over here Buzzwell and I'll put somewhere else the Genesect question mark. There we go. Mostly I will not change anything, but they have like creator star which helps on increasing the damage of Feromosa and I don't want to destroy his wish stars, okay? We are only doing this because he has creator star on both of the other platforms and that will increase the damage of Feromosa. Now related to Feromosa, I can change a little bit over here. Now Vajra and Extreme. I don't think I need any of those. Let's just go one by one. We have Creator because it increases our Pokemon skill damage and can be stacked. That's the, the point. That's why the other two guys have uh, 
creator as well. Unova Star increases 20% skill damage for Feromosa. Speedy, because we kind of want to try and move first. And then we have Extreme and Vajra. Now, I don't expect, for example, Feromosa to last five rounds. She could because of the move agains and stuff and like the extra speed that she could get from the buff. But this is not something like really reliable for me. So I'm going to remove Vajra and I'm going to remove Extreme because I don't want Fermosa to even just go below 50% HP because uh, most likely she will just die. Now, remembering that Feromosa is a special attacker, so we are going with a Wish Star special, which gives us more special attack on the first two rounds. And together with that, I have like two options. I either go, for example, for a Bug type uh, Wish Star, or I go for a Fight type Wish Star. And I'm honestly not so sure of what I want. I'll go for the bug one, and if we go and take a look at the skills, let's go over here on the skill breakthrough for example, on the Feromosa, you can see that I can choose my ultimate based on bug type or fighting type, I usually enjoy having fighting type, bug type is also nice, so I could change for a bug type. Now the other skill that does high damage on Feromosa, it's this one, it's head hit, so we are actually going to try multiple of them, let me actually check what hidden skills do we have on this not much so since we don't have much over here why not equip buzzwell with an endless set the purpose is to basically just generate fury that's all we care about is generating fury and that's what the buzzwell generates because on the buzzwell we mostly want the ultimate but since we don't have high hidden skill we might not be able to pull out an ultimate on today's showcase. Now related to Genesect, I'm not even going to equip it, honestly. It's not really worth it to equip anything on the Genesect because, well, at the same time, I could equip something. I could equip the Regigiga set, for example, but I'm not going to. And related to Feromosa, Feromosa also requires an Endless set. And you know what? Um, I'll just use the Buzzwell set that I just equipped on <laughs> Buzzwell. And I'll use that one because that one is the developed one. Yes, that one is the developed one. And now uh, on Buzzwell, I will equip the other one that Drago has. Because this one should be, let me see, should be high enough. No, it's not high enough. Oh no. I mean, it's actually high enough. I was uh, just making my own calculations to see if it was high enough to unlock all of the three skills, but technically we don't even need them. If we just take a look at over here, for example, focus energy, what does it give you? 30% rage, that's what we are aiming for, right? Over here, rage increases 10% when suffering damage from the enemy. So that's what we are aiming for. We want more rage. And the last one gives us crit rate, which you don't really need if you are not using this guy as an attacker. It can help early game for sure, or as a third team, but it's not the thing that you really, really want. Now, for example, I am going to steal a quick law over there from Celebi and I shall use Feromosa like that. And I shall steal as well a champion ribbon. You have a champion ribbon? I'm gonna steal a champion ribbon. Champion ribbon, crit damage, hell yeah. And that's the that's basically the team that we are going for. We are going for Vulcanian support and whatever. I believe right now we are good and set to go. Now let's try this team and see how it plays out. We have a 27 million team, so I'm assuming it could possibly take down a 31 million. But if he has sword and shield, that's not going to be the case. So we are going in a battle, and what will we find? K6, K6, what do you have, my guy? Tell me, tell me. You have sword and shield. Of course you have sword and shield. Why would you not have sword and shield? But hoy, the base stats, the base stats of this Feromosa are actually quite nice, as you can see. Oh, but then that guy uses spotlight. No, never mind. Bye. What about this guy? 25 million power. I mean, we could start low. Why not? And we have a sword and shield. God damn it. We have a sword and shield. Bew. Okay. He killed Buzzwell. Uh, Buzzwell is fine. Honestly, Buzzwell is fine. So we can just use this. What if I use? Oh yeah, he's resistant to bug type. That's the problem. What if I use Z ultimate on sword? I don't do damage, but I move again. 
I move again because the Pheromos is passive, but then I don't do damage. Bye. Also, I believe it's important to point out that, uh, well, there's another sword and shield over here. That was not an important thing to point out. <laughs> oh, no. It's, what? Dude, stop. Okay, let me just say it's important to point out that this Pheromosa is not developed. It's like, it's basically, we are doing a test with base stats. There's no developments whatsoever on these Pokemon. We have over here, like there's no strike cards. Uh, it's just skill breakthrough. The hidden skills are not here. Is basically we are testing the team with base stats. And this basically um, is just a showcase of what you could do if you would want to build a third team with Faramosa. Because technically you don't build really a third team unless you have way too many resources to spend you always want to just spend on your main two teams so that you are good enough to fight other players otherwise this is going to happen everybody's going to have sword and shield so you are going to take a lot of damage and goddamn um <laughs> now what i wonder if we focus on sword and shield first what does the buff provide? Increasing speed and 30% chance of moving again after each move. I believe I'm going for that. Yes. And I'm going to take... Should I... Uh, no, I need to focus on sword. I need to focus on sword. It's fine. Now, um, what do I use on this? Actually, this bug team is not the best against these Pokemon. Is honestly not the best. So we are going for the fighting move over here on sword. It's fine. And maybe... Okay, now I can move. And now um, I'm not basically... Okay, Genesex just destroys Diancy. That's normal. And even though Buzzwall doesn't do damage, Pheromosa should be able to do damage and move again. Okay. Finally. Something good. Excuse me, my good sir. Do you also have a sword and shield? No, you have a Resonance Lugia, which is probably not the best thing. Um, but Resonance Lugia is actually underdeveloped for some reason. It's a 33 million team, and all of my teammates are faster. Hmm. So with that, I believe I shall just try and do speed boost. And I don't have a berry to break the shields. In a normal battle, I should have a berry to break these kinds of shields and try to do damage. But it's fine. It's completely fine, because now... I have the field activation and we are going to do a bug type and we are not going to do damage but it should be just fun oh we got the ultimate let's go this ultimate is actually very good of Buzzwell. as you can see even Feromosa died because Feromosa is four times weak to freaking flying types but as you can see they are dying to Buzzwell. so I'm not only showcasing the <laughs> <laughs> the Pheromosa itself, right? But I'm basically showcasing Buzzwell. I was trying to click the skill and it was not working. But it's fine. There we go. Basically, what Buzzwell uh, does with his ultimate, he applies bleeding if I'm not wrong. Okay, it's not bleeding, it's sepsis. My brain always just messes these two words because one of them basically blocks your healing and you cannot heal at all. The other one actually transforms your healing into damage so it's not your healing it's the enemy's healing so basically um buzzwell with the ultimate that he just released over there he applied sepsis to all of the enemy team so any healing that happened over there they took their own healing as damage so if you have like a lot of healing you're just gonna kill yourself with buzzwell that's why buzzwell is also a very nice piece of addition to the bug team itself the rest of the video now will be just battle showcases if you enjoyed it so far don't forget to leave a like on the video thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time